Good to have you, good to see you, my friends. It's your coach, Borino, with a short live, short, quick tip that I think you will enjoy. Let me preset that first. Hey, Maka, what's happening? Eric here, Valinda, thanks for joining us. Manny is here. Good to have you guys. Quick little tip. I was preparing my notes for tomorrow's bootcamp. I'm teaching another live bootcamp class tomorrow. We are in class three. Tomorrow we'll be talking about follow-up. And as I was working on my notes, I'm like, aha, here's that little thing, that little gem that I think will help you. If you're losing listings or if you went, didn't get a listing, whether through uh, you had a communication or didn't have a communication, communication with a lead, you lost a listing to another agent, or you would like to get more listings and you would like to fix that, and I'll show you today how to do that. Manny, what's happening? So let me show you. It's a simple formula. Write this down, please. This is essential. Agents who are crushing it, who are doing well this year, who are off to a good start in 2019. You, one of them, right? You're my rock stars. My students, PATH students, maybe you're on the PATH with me, are following this formula. Those of you who struggle, who are not there, there is either one or several elements in this formula missing. So let's start. We're going to start with an SFI. That's the first part of the formula. Then we're going to add a C. Then we're going to add another C. Then we're going to add a PFU to earn. And as you know, I like to go full color multimedia. Is it, are we still in the shop? Yes, excellent. Dollars, dollars, listings, clients, happiness, good life, freedom. That's the formula. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Please write it down. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, I'll tell you what it is. More important how to implement it in your business. Why this is critical. This is important. This is your wealth. This is your freedom. This is all the stuff you want right here in this formula. It took me 20 years to figure it out. Not just figure it out and to analyze it, but to teach you and break it down for you so you can implement it. You can do this right away. It doesn't cost much. Effort, mostly. But you don't mind rolling up your sleeves, right? So let's take it apart. SFI stands for strong first impression. Strong first impression. That's the first part of the formula. It is the first and most important critical part. This is the first interaction, first encounter you have with the prospect, you have with the lead. And it can be your Facebook ad, there can be an email, there can be somebody who walks into your open house, there can be a phone call you make to an expired listing, there can be a visit to a visible, whatever that is. This part is more than 50% of the impact on the end. What they think and feel, how they feel about you, determines whether they want to do business with you. And very often this process is super quick, it's very unconscious, and it is not something they process logically. Why? Because we don't make logical decisions as human beings. So that's the first part of the formula, SFI, strong first impression. It is your first and foremost order of business to make a good impression. If you come too high, you're going to come across as aggressive, arrogant, manipulative, salesy. You may not be that, but you may come across that. If you're memorizing scripts, if you're reciting scripts that everybody else is using in the business, you may have a good chance that you're going to run into that. If you come too low, you're going to be too needy, too desperate, too nice. Big turnoff because it indicates weakness. You want to be right in the middle. That's the strong first impression. It happens like that. It's like dating. Real estate is kind of like dating, right? Anyway, so that's the first part of the formula. The first C stands for competent. Competence, being competent. That means you know your stuff. You know what you're talking about. You know the market, you know the pricing, you know how to hear the house sold. If you're working with buyers, you know the neighborhoods, the schools, all the details. You're competent. That's your core skill, core knowledge. You know how to get shit done. So you're competent. The second C, stands for confident. They need to be in, competition, in a combination. You're confident. That means you trust yourself. And they can trust you. Confidence is one of the most attractive, most powerful, most desirable qualities that your prospects, your clients, your, your customers want in you. Is to be confident so you can be trusted. And it is not that salesy kind of fake, you know, look how suave, how cool I am, all right. It's deep inside. You trust yourself. You know you can deliver. Because if you don't trust yourself, how in the world do you expect them to trust you and pay you thousands of dollars? Wouldn't make sense, right? So competence plus confidence and then the PFU is the final part of the puzzle. 
and that stands for persistent follow-up. That means you persistently stay in touch. It is the repetition of your follow-up that creates a sense of familiarity, that triggers comfort, that builds trust. And you already know, people do business with you because they like you, trust you, and respect you. These, my friends, are the most critical elements that if you're missing, if one of these or more are missing, you're losing listings, you're losing opportunities. And people will tell you, well, we kind of liked you, but you know, Joe offered us a better deal. It's never about that. Because the decision is always based on emotion. This is what controls those emotions. This is the process. Strong first impression, competence, knowing your stuff, being confident without being cocky or arrogant, and the persistent follow-up, because this is where the relationship is built. Real estate is a long-term business. Most of your business will not come from first phone call, first knock on the door, first open house visit. There's going to be at least some type of a follow-up, some type of a relationship building through a frequent communication. It can be online, offline, social media, direct mail, email, text, video, all these tools. We have a whole bunch, thank God, <laughs> these days at our disposal. Most of them very inexpensive, easy to use, right? Like right now. I'm in my home office. I don't need a TV crew. I don't need anything I can talk to, broadcast to you live. Thousands of people watching this. It's awesome. So we have all these tools. So the persistent follow-up combined with competency, confidence, and a strong first impression is the formula that leads to money, dollars, happiness, good clients. Ask yourself this and be really critical. Be honest with yourself. If you didn't get the listing you wanted to get, or if you're not getting listing consistently, or if you just would like to get more listings, what do you need to improve first? And it's going to be different for everybody. Some of you may work on your first impression how you open a conversation. We spend the second month of the path doing nothing but that, working on your strong communication because it's so important and people judge you immediately. Maybe you feel like, well, I got the first impression down. I just need to demonstrate more competence. And again, there are certain tools and techniques you can demonstrate. Building up your confidence, super important. Because if you don't trust yourself, they won't either. What about your follow-up? Do you have a system in place? Do you have a contact management system in place? Are you using it? Is the frequency okay? Is the message okay? All of those play critical roles. You got this down, you got a profitable business. What else is missing? Then, of course, just a system to generate the leads so you have somebody to establish strong first impression. Make sense? Hey, but again, good to have you. David says, well, if it was that simple. It really is not more complicated than David. It is our drunken monkey that wants us to believe it's complicated. It is our fear, it is our programming and our beliefs. There's our mindset that very often just buds in thinking, oh, it can't be that simple. It is that simple. Because if you start analyzing human behavior, we're pretty simple creatures. We make emotional decisions, we make them rapidly, they have very little to do with logic. I mean, logically, wouldn't you be the best choice in many cases? Wouldn't you be the right agent who they should pick? In most instances, I would say yes, David. So if they don't pick you, it's not because they make a logical decision, logically the other agent made more sense or it was a better choice. They will justify and explain it with logic. But what triggered that decision in the first place was well, something right here in the formula. And if you're really honest, and if you really spend some time doing a little soul searching, not exactly a very pleasant thing to do, but essential for a business, you could probably troubleshoot yourself. Where is it breaking down? What is the problem? What part of this formula do I need to focus on? And then you can break that down further into simple steps you can implement fairly quickly to get your business on, off the ground and get it to the level where you want to be. That's really it. There's no more to than that. Don't let your drunken monkey and the wrong mindset, I am guilty, trust me, I'm an expert at that. Don't let it butt in and convince you, or it's got to be more to it than that, and it's more complicated than that. It really isn't. What else would you add to it? There's nothing else to add. All right. Manny, what's happening, my friend? Awesome nugget of knowledge. Glad you enjoyed it, Manny. Christy says, thanks. It's not complicated, but all of these elements are absolutely necessary. That's the whole point, Christy. They're essential. They're critical. And a lot of your struggle, financial, business-wise, can be very easily pinpointed. Which part of, is it number one, is it number two, number three, or number four? That's really all there is to it. And you already know, you kind of can tell, right? I could tell. I knew what it was. My big problem was strong first impression. I was nervous. I was needy. And from there, of course, I was lacking confidence. I started previewing properties, role-playing, working on my mindset. Bam! more money. That was it. Okay? So don't overthink it. Ansar would like to know if the path helps the mindset. Ansar, really good question. It does. Big time. Because you already know, I already know, we all know 
that with the, with the wrong mindset, if you go in scared, if you, if you have the wrong beliefs, money is hard to come by, real estate is hard, too much competition, if you have all that noise in your head, it's going to fuck you up, it's going to slow you down. So I wrote a book about it. And it's the first book you're going to get when you join the path. We're going to work on it for 30 days. You're going to watch a video, you're going to get an audio program called My Matrix. They will help you. I developed it all for myself. These are tools I use. This is no bullshit theory. You know how some coaches, they, never mind, I'm not going to bash anybody, but I'm just going to tell you, this is stuff I used and to this, to this day I still use. Like Hannah and I love to listen to the Mind Matrix. It's five tracks, each is about 15, 20 minutes. You're going to fall asleep with it. And you're going to listen to it in the evening to reprogram. Because if the foundation is not there, if the mindset is all over the place, if the drunken monkey keeps holding you back, if you're staying within your comfort zone, how in the world are you going to make two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars? It's impossible. Not with the wrong beliefs, not with the wrong focus, not with the wrong expectations. I tried, trust me, you know how it ended up? You know my story, right? Don't you? I ended up homeless. Not because I was a bad agent. Start with the mindset and then this bad boy. Helpful? So come join the path. Come do it with me. I'll help you from the mindset to lead generation, time management, communication, all that is part of it. We had a great session today. We had over two hour live session where I was just teaching, answering questions. We were talking about how the market is shifting, how things are changing, how the business has, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Evolving and how you have to stay flexible and what tools to use and all that. It was a good session. We have those all the time. They're recorded. You have a big library. Come join us. It's a good training. I believe it's the best training that can get you up very, very quickly because it comes with everything you need. Systems, accountability, my support, training, tools, all of that is part of it. So if you want to jump on it, go to goborino.com, check it out, sign up. We'd love to have you. It's only 197 bucks a month. Month to month, there's no long-term contract or any of that. All right? Zan, how can I find out more about the path? My mindset is definitely jacked. Yours is everybody else's, Zan. Because it's so easy with all the noise, all the distractions, all that coffee. Do you have those agents in your office? You know, they have a cup of coffee and they're like, oh, you know, that fucking Trump. I can't believe what he did. The government shut down. Oh, you know, that seller I had, what an asshole. Oh, you know, the market is really not doing very well. Oh, the competition. Oh, you know, they're, they're opening this new 50% uh, off discount broker. And, and all the noise and all the negativity, it's all around us. So if you're not vigilant, it's not your fault. It's so easy to get messed up in your head. It's so You don't need to do much and it's just gonna slam you hard. And I know you're trying, I know you want to better yourself. We are gonna do, I promise you, I will do, let's do it next Tuesday, how about that? I will do a session on mindset. But you need this. You need the, the, the exercises, the tools that help me to get out of the mess. First 30 days, nothing but that. Because once we have that, man, it's like a solid foundation, like concrete. We can build on that. We can start building systems. We can start building lead generation. We can start building all that. But if you're coming in thinking, I'm not that good at it. I don't trust myself. It's hard. I don't think I'm cut out for it. Your spouse nags you. Mine used to. <laughs> You're not cut out for this. It's too hard. You're not making enough money and all that. And after a while, you're like, well, holy shit is right. The bills are not getting paid. <laughs> you know, has that ever happened to you? So it's easy to slip. But if you don't have the support team, if you don't have the mindset, if the drunken monkey keeps butting in, you're fucked. It's hard. And it's a struggle. This shouldn't be. This business can be fun. This business can be enjoyable and very rewarding. I mean, you're helping people with something huge. Something so big, moving, finding a new home, going through the process. It's a complex, complicated process. So when they finally find someone like you who really knows how to get it done, who can be trusted, who is an expert, it's a big relief, it's a big deal. And you can really enjoy it, but it's hard to enjoy it if the dollars are not there, I know. So we're going to take care of the mindset, we're going to get that first in place. And if you want to continue the path, great. If you feel like after the first month you're done, that's all you need, my help with the mindset, get the book, that's fine too. But I believe once you get the taste, what we do, and the group of people, we have close to 300 agents there now. It's a great bunch, very supportive. You're going to find a role play partner. We're going to do accountability once a week with an amazing coach, Roxy. Every Monday morning, she's going to crack your whip and make sure you're on track and seven days to be really productive and stay on track. 
You're going to have access to me, coaching, all that good stuff. It's fun. It's a good program. I love it. I love teaching it. That's why I designed it. I felt like if you need more than just me sending you a book. You can buy a book on Amazon for 20 bucks. But it requires more. It requires insight like this, where we can really take it apart. Where What's wrong with the first impression? Where are you off? Why do they feel like they can't trust you? We can troubleshoot that. Because here is an insight that took me forever to figure out. Real estate does not require talent. Real estate does not require any talent. It's just a set of skills. Like this, this is a set of skills. It's a skill to set up first strong impression. It requires certain communication skills, certain mindset skills. Being confident is just a sequence of skills. It's, a, it's like a toolbox. Being competent, same thing. The core of your competence is knowing the market well. That takes well, probably three, four weeks to really go preview, study what's going on. Persistent follow-up, good contact management system, I'll help you set that up, and set up a sequence. Set up a frequent sequence to keep in touch with people who kind of raised their hand and said, maybe I want to do something. Everything can be broken down into a set of steps. That's what I became good at. My talent, I don't have any special skills. What I figured out is how to take something pretty complex, like real estate, and making a lot of money in it as an agent, and break it down into something that makes sense, that don't feel so fucking overwhelming. Where you look at it as a set of steps and you go, okay, well, I can do this and I can do this and I can do this. And before you know it, you got a system, you got a business. And it's going to be a little wobbly first. It's going to be a little like, oh, you know, I don't know. And then we tighten this and replace that and put this in place. And next thing you know, you're going. I can promise you how far or how fast, but I promise you, I will not quit on you and I will not give up on you until we are where you want to be. My goal, the initial goal of the path was listing a week. That's my goal. Now, some of you will say, more, please. And some of you will say, mm, not so much. That's fine. The systems don't change. The principles don't change. Your speed will change. Your distance may change a little. You will say, I'm happy with 30. Cool. I'm okay with that. But the process doesn't change. You acquire leads. You follow up with them to build relationship, to get appointments. And those who say, come on down, let's talk, you turn into listings. And that's a process. And I figured that process out and I can teach you how to do that. It's going to take a little bit of time. I can't teach you in a few weeks. I tried. <laughs> it failed miserably. It's too much. But if you stay with me, if you trust me, we'll get you up to speed quickly so you start making money right away. And then little by little, we're going to enhance and build and advance that. Does that make sense? Any questions about this, my friends? What do you say? When I first started, I would go to listing appointments and be so nervous. I would sweat and I would shake. As soon as I stopped depending on every appointment being a listing, it came a lot easier. Desperation is obvious. Christopher, what a great insight. Being needy, being nervous, being desperate will so turn people off. Think about it this way. Imagine you go to a dentist. You sit in a chair, teeth is hurt, tooth is hurting, you want to get somebody to help you, and here come your dentist with the tools and he'll be like, sorry, I'm a little nervous today. How fast would you be out of that chair? I know I would bolt out faster than Michael Phelps in the pool. Just out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course they want somebody who's confident. Of course they want somebody they can trust. And I was nervous too. That's normal. Being nervous at first, it's normal. My first expired listing, let's see if I have a piece of paper. <laughs> I had the MLS printout in my hands. It was making a noise. That's <laughs> I was shaking. My palms were sweaty. It was terrible. But I also knew if I didn't get over my discomfort and fear, I would be stuck forever in the comfort zone in a mediocrity. And you know what, friends? I'll tell you something maybe you know or don't know about me. I would rather fail miserably than not give it my best shot. Because then I would look back and I'm like, shit, that was such a good opportunity and I wasted it. And not just the money. Yes, the thousands of dollars in commission, nice. But it's more than that. It's feeling like I went for it. I went for it. I did something extraordinary and I found a good client and I helped them. And first it was hard and now it's easier. And it's going to get easier, right? It, it gets easier with time, with a little practice. It's going to get better. But you have to get through the initial, fuck, I'm going to die. And that's normal, whether it's prospecting, door knocking, listing presentations, first open house, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was holding my first open house in Whittier, California, and I'm standing there. There was a little tiny two bedroom house. I had my sign out and I'm just standing there, nervous as hell, right? Little tiny house, and I'm standing. I'm like, I hope nobody comes, I hope nobody comes, I hope nobody comes, I hope nobody comes. And here comes the car. I'm like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. They're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in, I'm gonna die. I didn't die. 
was all right, it turned out just fine. But the first initial interactions, there's a lot of fear and insecurity. It's just normal. We're human beings. What makes a difference is not whether you feel nervous or scared at first. Everybody does. It would be unusual if you didn't. It would be weird. What differentiates the rock stars from everybody else is the rock stars continue. They do it in spite of how they feel. That's the only difference. They figure out, next time I'm going to do a little better. I'm going to do a little better. I'm going to do a little better. And they do. Yeah, but it's a process. It's not a leap. He didn't learn how to walk overnight. He didn't learn how to ride a bike overnight or drive a car or do any of activities, anything that requires a skill. Real estate is just another skill. It's going to take a little time, some hand-holding. I'm pretty good at that. Some tools, some patience, but also commitment. We say, I'm going to stay with it. I'm going to learn this. I'm going to master this. Others have, this guy from Czechoslovakia figured it out. Trust me, every single one of you can. Nothing unique or special about me. Don't get fooled by my good looks. <laughs> All right? Helpful? All right, God. Started the path. Went to listing appointment. Ram, good for you. First listing appointment. Well done, my good sir. Excellent. Attitude, not aptitude, determines your altitude. Very well said, Christopher. I like that. Lisa invited a whole bunch of people. Excellent. Good. So, my friends, that's the message today. Hope that was helpful. For those of you who just joined us on the path, awesome. Good to have you. I'm excited. Dive in. Binge on it. You're going to have access to the Netflix of real estate, which is the Listing University, a bunch of good coaching sessions, a bunch of resources there for you. I'm there for you. We have a private group where you can post all kinds of questions. We hang out. It's really cool. I want you to succeed. I want 2019 to be your year. That's why I created this new hashtag. I don't know if it's new, but I'm using it on Instagram called Crush2019. That's my goal for you. It can be a phenomenal year. NAR predicts 5.6 million transactions close this year. 200,000 more closed this year than last year. That's pretty damn good. That's a lot of business out there. So let's get some. All right, friends? Awesome. Thank you very much for being here today. Thanks for jumping in on this little live with me. Hope you enjoyed this. Time to make some dinner. I'm cooking tonight. It's Wednesday. It's my turn. <laughs> I'm going to make something good. I'll report back to you. Coach Borino signing off. Appreciate you being here tonight. Bye, Rockstars. I'll talk to you soon.